Welcome to our white towel video. We also do podcasts every week. You can subscribe through Apple Podcasts. Give us a rating. Tell us what you want to hear. Uh, here with a couple of our uh, esteemed writers. Um, ben, let's start with you. Look at this Canucks start. Yeah. And we've seen fast starts before, but I think what's blowing everyone away is the amount of goals they're scoring. What's what? What's that down to? Yeah, the Harlem Glo Globetrotters of the NHL, Paul. I think a lot of it is predicated on just the way they play. You know, it's it's great that they're putting up all these numbers, and we've been scrambling for the record books because this start is ridiculous. This seven one and one run that they're on and scoring multiple goals in multiple periods. I think a lot of it is just the way they play. And they talked about it the other day, the fact that it's, uh, sure, some of it's off the rush, but it's the pressure on the puck. It's hard to play against this team. When you got Tim Schaller, the forgotten guy, scoring four goals in his last three games, a lot of that is just the pressure, the way that they pressure the D into making mistakes, turning over the puck, and suddenly you've got it sitting there on the doorstep. Why not just jam it in? I mean, you see the same with Jake Vertanen. Three goals in his last game. A lot of it is the talent level. Let's not kid ourselves. I mean, you know, T uh, Miller with six goals already, guys. I mean, that's legit. I just think a lot of it has to do with where today's game is at, uh, the fact that it's a young, skilled, fast game. I mean, we make so much of the Canucks blowing that lead uh, against the, the Washington Capitals. Uh, but the fact is, in the first month of the season, on 10 occasions, teams have mounted multiple third period comebacks. So I think a lot of it is the way that the game is being played, but a lot of it has to do with the talent base and it's, it's pretty rich. Surprised with the start? Yeah, a, a little bit, you know, just to pick up on what Ben was saying. I mean, you, the, the last couple of years you'd sit up there and watch and, 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 and the Canucks were swimming upstream. The game was trending young, fast, emphasis on fast, and they just couldn't play that game. Uh, they play at like like elite level NHL speed. Now they play a really fast game, and they really do it through 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 all four lines. Uh, and a lot of it has to do with you know the overriding philosophy. So I think on that level, this is sustainable. They're not going to score seven every night, but they're not going to finish in the bottom five in goals scored, which is what we've seen you know in, in the dark days here. I think what what's kind of really has surprised people at the start of the season is how quickly this team has made the leap yeah. this year. Yeah. Is it is it, you know, depth? Is it Miller? Is it just adding Quinn Hughes <coughs> to the mix from the back end? Yeah, I, I think uh, it's Myers. A, yeah, like, it's, what's it's the difference? It's a combination of of all those things, and, and I think and I think really one of the overriding questions about the team this year are these young guys ready to carry this team into a playoff spot? One thing for them to, you know, sort of go about the process of establish them, establishing themselves as frontline NHL players. Another thing to be able to be in a position because they're going to have to beat out some pretty good teams in the West to make that playoff spot. I think a good follow-up to that, Ed, is the fact they don't spend much time in their own zone, yeah. whether it's Quinn Hughes. You know, the funny thing about last game, Hughes didn't have a point, but he didn't need to. And whether it's... Thatcher Demko suddenly coming out of his net and starting the, the, the passing play in that first goal the other night, or, or the fact that, you know, we'd usually be sitting here going, I can't believe they're playing Edler with Myers. I can't believe that pairing. It's been really, really good. Mm. And, and just, just, just this, to solidify that pairing and to have Quinn Hughes as the get-out-of-jail-free card, whether he's triggering the transition, getting back in a hurry, beating the forecheck, or just starting the breakout, uh, they transition through the neutral zone real quick. And I think a nice, pleasant development here is with Pedersen uh, understanding that, you know what, if I get the puck with speed through the neutral zone rather than gaining the offensive zone and then wondering what I'm going to do, that's why you've seen a nice spurt from him of late here, a nice point run uh, coming off a three assist game. So a lot of it has to do with uh, the talent level, but a lot of it has to do with pace. And, and like Ed said, they're playing at a much higher tempo. All right, great stuff, gents. You can come back here, the province.com, VancouverSun.com, all season for stories, videos, and as I said, the White Tail Podcast, you can subscribe through Apple Podcasts.